Hey, buddy. You. You were there with the shroomer. Huh? You're... You're the mafia boss who took Kitajima, the shroomer, to Europe. Yes, yes. Kitajima and I were working together every day to create the number one mushroom pasta in all of Europe. What's Kitajima up to now? He is still in Europe, making mushrooms. The man's got talent. I see. Then what are you doing back in Kamurocho? Well, that's the thing. Kitajima has such a head for business that I've run out of things to do at work. I asked Kitajima for some time off and came back here. Back to where it all started, at Kamurocho. Uh, he's your boss now? But I'm starting to get bored with playing tourist in Kamurocho by myself. I'm looking for excitement. Isn't there anything exciting going on? I can't really think of anything, unless... Would you be interested in joining the security staff at my company? Security? Ah, that sounds like fun. It's just what I need to get back to my killer instinct after making pasta all the time. Grazie. I accept your offer. I shall join your firm. We now have a Mafia boss on our team. And his name's just Mafia boss. <laughs> Just Mafia boss. Bloop. No other name. <laughs> I haven't tasted the blood of my enemies in a long while. I can't wait. He's got that permanent sad face that like... That one... Like the... Like uh... Like Onryoki masks would have or something. Yokai masks. You know, I'm not asking for anything like that, right? Anyway, welcome aboard. You've done it, Mr. President. We've taken over 30% of the Electronic King's area. <laughs> Let's keep increasing our share. Uh. Yeah. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about this Electronic King's guy? If I remember correctly, he looked like an otaku. Hey. The Electronics King is a member of the Five Billionaires who controls the area around Nakamichi Street. He apparently has an IQ of 190 and made his fortune by developing and, in and investing in cutting-edge technology. 90. An IQ of 190? That's something. Never would have guessed it from looking at him. Yeah. It's not only the, it's not the only surprise. He is also supposed to be quite good at fighting, despite appearances. Mm. The word is that a bunch of young thugs who considered the area to be their turf fought the Electronics King, but wound up joining his crew instead. So he's got brains, brawn, and a gang for when those fail. Yes. Since we'll be making moves on their territory, we'll probably wind up clashing with them often. So the Electronics King managed to tame a bunch of young thugs, and he's got an IQ of 190. I'd better watch out. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure he's in, got a word for us now. Payout collection stopped until you resolve the problems in the area. Electronics King, what a surprise. Oh. Trouble in a lot of areas, actually. Oh boy. This is what you might call non-ideal. Okay. So the, the Electronics King guy should be like right next door, practically. He, like this, like uh, the way it's turning out is that this area where we started out is the, is my area, the one we did the first, but then like Electronics King is usually like this guy, I think. Let's see. Let's see. Either way, they're on my stuff. I just thought that we'd have a more direct challenge. But we not we might not be that far yet. It might just be we're getting praised for moving into their territory in general. Ooh, it's right here next to the shrine. I should see if I have any more CP to turn in. So I think I've got to hurry or the uh or I have to worry about like actually getting punished. So what can I get for the CP exchange? Office another office upgrade for 10 and quicker collection at 20. I think I want that regardless. I would like to get other upgrades, but I, I feel like I want to max, max out the office just to reduce the amount of grinding involved cuz like the collection things are already starting to get, get done pretty fast. If I can get them to be done even faster, that'd be fantastic news. That seems like something worth prioritizing. Wow, in the time since I ran over there, it's already done. I could see, I, I'm gonna hit a point where I can seriously just stand there for a, uh, for a couple minutes and then it'll be it'll be ready again. Someone, so someone's causing trouble like right here. The goons causing problems in this area are here. Should I deal with them now? Yes. <laughs> a challenger appears for a street fight? Big surprise. The other one's causing trouble around here. 
I'm going to need to stop you. Nice try, newbie. You think you'll will shut up and just uh will will up and shut down just because you said so? The electronic king wants you to squash any bugs, and you're bugging me. Oh my god, these puns. Electronics king lackeys. Pain time. I've got a stove. Who wants a stove in their face? Ow. Somehow managed to move on on their territory without actually reaching them, apparently. Pain time. Pain. Hey, buddy. You're my best buddy. Woohoo! Oh. My favorite part is the permanent spinal damage. Alright, this is less important than I thought it was. Uh oh god, he's not even human. There we go. Nice, I was able to solve the problem. Now all I have to do is wait for the problem to start going back up. Alright. That's disappointing. I took care of the problem, yeah, but I thought that the time... Oh, they're everywhere. Crap. At the time, I thought that they were going to... It was going to be my, um... My showdown with the actual boss. Ah, don't... Don't attack. Everyone get out of my way. I'm trying to find a thing. Also, I heard a chime back there. There might have been, like, a collectible or something. Hopefully I'm not running out of time. How's it looking right now on business? Ah, uh, they're in trouble, but they're not that far off. I don't know if I if I have a time limit for the in trouble part, or if that's just where they froze on the progress for the payout. Maybe it doesn't count down. I don't remember if they warned me about that or not. It'd be hard to make negative progress, because then you'd be like, what happens if you buy all the upgrades and it's not at 100% yet? Hooligans. Which place is it? Oh, are these just hooligans? It's the Pleasure King. <laughs> oh no, they're, they are his. Look who decided to show up. So you're the ones causing trouble around here? That's cute. You think we'll, dr we'll drop everything and, and stop just because you said so? Pleasure King said to bring down the house on anyone in our way, and you are. Oh. These guys don't get jokes. <laughs> Everyone else had, like, pun jokes. But these guys are like... What are they gonna do that? Like, like we're gonna fuck you. <laughs> to, like, it's like there's not a there's not a lot of jokes to make for the Pleasure King without making it really weird. Everyone else is like, you think we're gonna like reboot? It's time for a bug test. <laughs> but, but then you get you get the uh, <laughs> Pleasure King. It's like I don't know how to make this not weird. Uh, we're gonna fight you now. Ha. <laughs> This is spread like peanut butter. What the fuck <laughs> does that mean? <laughs> Sweet. I was able to solve the problem. Again. And again. And again. Oh. That is what that sound is. Da 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 da. I'm gonna find my way back into whatever hallway the previous one showed up in. There you are. I see you. You sneaky little bastard. More phone cards for me for some reason. Oh, what's this? I've stumbled into something. She looks so similar. No. Maybe not. But still. Oh, she's gone. Maybe it is her, but I could be wrong. What's up? What's this guy up to? Sugar daddy. Okay. That's where we're going with this. Is it her or not? I can't tell. Hey. What are you up to? What? Well, uh, who are you? You startled me. Who I am doesn't matter. What do you think you're doing spying on that girl? You'd better not be stalking her. Stalking her? Oh, no, 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 no! Nothing of the sort. I was just keeping an eye on the girl out of paternal instinct. Paternal instinct? Oh, she's your daughter? Well, that's where things get murky. I can't really be sure whether she's my daughter or not. What do you mean? Got it. 
So you haven't seen your daughter in years. Okay. Yes. It's been 15 years since my divorce, and my vis visitation rights were denied. That's a long time. Why did you get divorced? I hate to admit it, but the business I was running back then went under. My company was doing well. Nothing spectacular, but it provided a steady income. But I got complacent and I failed to see the market returning. When losses started to mount, I kept plowing borrowed money into the failed businesses, convinced I could turn it around. Eventually, I found myself drowning in debt. My wife must have been, had enough with my obstinate pride. She walked out with our daughter, Natsumi. I see. After that, I did anything I could to redeem myself. I took every job available. I bowed before anyone who would help. Thankfully, the booming economy lifted my fortunes. Now I earn enough money to live without any worry or want. Good to hear. If they saw me now, my wife and not sue me would might be willing to give me another chance, but I have no way to contact them. Then recently, I found a girl who was the spitting image of the Natsumi when she was a child, but grown up. I see. So she's the hostess you were watching. Yes, exactly. Fifteen years ago, Natsumi was five years old. She w would be around that girl's age now. If it's not too late, I want to see my girl, Natsumi, again. I want to talk to her and eat together, like we used to. I want to be called Daddy again. But the problem is, I'm not sure if she really is Natsumi or not. My doubts are keeping me from taking the next step. The girl who might be your daughter is a hostess, isn't she? Why don't you just go to the club and ask her in person? If it were that easy, I wouldn't be suffering like this. Whether the girl's my daughter or is a stranger, I need to be emotionally prepared for the fallout. I can't do anything until I know for certain. Well, you never meet your daughter by doing nothing. I was hoping you could help with that. Can you go to her club and figure out whether or not she's my daughter? Me? Yeah. Yes. You understand the situation. And you look to be a man familiar with these kinds of, um, nighttime establishments. Of course, I'll foot the club charges. Just think of it as a free night out. Well, please, please help me see my daughter. He's not even sure if it's really his daughter, but he is hurting, and he's willing to pay for it. What should I do? Surprise. Uh. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. I'll check if she's her daughter or not. <laughs> you will? Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Kiryu. Ah, Kiryu-san. My name's Misumi. Thanks again for your help. Please accept this. Got 10,000 yen. I guess that's the... So she, I guess she's just paying... He's paying for my way to get in. But it's, that's such an adorable number now. Oh, no. Although I do I do only have 10... About 10 million right now because I keep putting it... Uh, back into my real estate. The girl who looks like my daughter uses the name Reika at the club. Please use that money to request her. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thank you so much for doing this. So we just need to try to ask about their family, basically. But try to actually get information out of it. W welcome. Would you like to request a particular hostess? Yeah. Yeah, a girl named Reika. Reika-san, is it? I'll let her know. Hello, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Reika. Thank you for coming today. Sure. So this is the girl who might be Misumi's daughter. Close up, she does kind of resemble Masumi. Um, uh, I'm sorry, have we met before? Uh. Oh, no. This is my first time. The na my name's Kiryu. Oh, that's a relief. Please don't scare me like that, Kiryu-san. Mm -hmm. What's the relief? I didn't remember seeing your face, Kiryu-san. I got nervous because I thought maybe I forgot a returning guest's face. It's okay, we haven't met before. Mm -hmm. But then... Why did you request me? Nani. Huh? You asked for me by name, so it must mean you knew about me, right? Where did you hear about me? Why did you request me? Huh. She's not gonna let this go. I have to avoid making her suspicious. I can't tell her someone who might be your father asked me to talk to her. 
What should I say? I really like the name Rika. Uh, I heard about you from a friend. Just be vague. He told me there's a real cute and charming girl named Rika at this club. Oh, I see. It makes me so happy to hear that. Who is your friend? I'd, I'd better be extra nice when he comes again. Who? Uh, well... He was just part of a big group. There were a lot of guys talking about Rika and how amazing she was. <laughs> oh, yes! Go me! Guess I've got a reputation to live up to. Good. Rika's feelings are motiv feeling more motivated. But come to think about it, that doesn't really help me at all. <laughs> I just like feeling- making people feel good, apparently. Rika, how long have you been doing this kind of work? Uh, not very long. I started after I turned 20 this last summer, so it would be about six months. Also, by the way, when she just went eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
It doesn't matter anymore. Please. Look at me. I don't remember very much, but let's talk like we used to when I was little. Rika had to beg to leave the club for this. You owe it to her to at least let her get a good look at you. Kiryu-san, I was refusing to face reality again. It's just like 15 years ago when I turned a blind eye to my business's doom, sank into debt and paid for it with my family. But I'm not going to run anymore. I'm going to face reality. I'm going to see my daughter. Hello, Natsumi. Huh? Um... Who's Natsumi? Nani. Huh? Um, you're Natsumi, aren't you? My daughter? No, I'm Reika. Pardon? Isn't Reika just a stage name used at the club? Uh. No, it's my real name. I didn't want to put up a false front, even for work. Wait, what now? So that means you're not my daughter, but... a total stranger. Welp. I, uh, I blew it. <laughs> Our backgrounds are so similar, Misumi-san. It's almost like fate or something that we met. Right? Strange but true, Reika-chan. You look just like my daughter. I see her in you. What she looked like when she... Uh, what she looked like when she was five isn't anything to go on, though, Misumi-san. You're so silly. I couldn't find my own daughter, but I got to know you, Rika-chan. This is even better, <laughs> Oh, that's not... No, no, no. Misu oh. Mis hey, Misumi. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. No worries, Kiryu-san. What's life if you can't enjoy it? <laughs> oh, this is for the trouble you I put you through. You've got a goddess of children amulet. Oh, waiter, bring the most expensive drink you have to Rika-chan over here. Yay, thank you, Misumi-san. Oh, stop it. I forbid you to call me anything so formal as Misumi-san. Daddy. Call me Daddy, oh god. Oh, I'll call you whatever you like, Daddy. Ha ha ha! Stay that again! Please, what's more? Daddy. Heart. <laughs> Waiter, bring us a fruit platter, quick. Ooh, heart. <laughs> There's more than one kind of Daddy, I guess. What the hell? 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 Like, I should have seen it coming because it's called Sugar Daddy. Because, like that, he's just gonna end up like with some person that he just throws money at, and it's, and apparently won't be their daughter. But damn, if that didn't just get super weird. You're just like my daughter. We're probably gonna date each other now and get really weird about it. Oh my god. And then he just like, this is even better than finding my daughter. I'm like, no. No, man, don't. Oh. Well, what have we here? Guess I'll sit over there today. Hello, what can I get you? What's the most expensive thing? <laughs> Since apparently that's the, my life now. Boom. A remarkable specimen from France. Word, word, XO. Can one, one top prize in worldwide co cognac test? I don't, I don't know alcohol. It's colorful. <laughs> Is it cognac? Is that how you pronounce it? The, uh, the pairing of the finest grapes with... Oh, it's a wine, isn't it? With Bordery's spirits produces a full but smooth palate. I have no idea what we're talking about. You haven't had cognac until... In Kanye West until you tried this one. Whoa. Now I'm gonna let you finish that drink, but first... Would you like another one? I think I'm... Good. Fair enough, please come by again. How about you, though? Nope.
Oh, you're supposed to look weird. Word of advice, you'd better not sit there, buddy. Huh? -uh. Is this seat reserved? Something like that. Besides, why hide in the corner? Come on over. Let's lift a glass or three. I was just standing right next to you and I couldn't talk to you. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> you sure can pound him. Looks like you can hold your liquor. Yeah. Looks like you can hold your own in a fight, too. Mind telling me how you make your living? <clears throat> hey, you don't have to say if you don't want to. Just, you know, curious. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's a little complicated, but I had to go straight recently. Hmm? Had to go straight, eh? So, you used to be... Boss man, the usual. Hey. Of course, right away. That's the seat I was just... Shh. Hmm? Huh? You seem a little oblivious, so let me bring you up to speed. The guy who just came in? Whoa, don't look now. He's a mobster. Is that right? Yeah, huh. You're not phased in the least. Well, I suppose that makes sense, you being executed on all. From the information I pieced together, he waits there for customers to come in and buy weapons. Weapons? Uh. Yeah. Guns. Smuggled in from China. Cheap to source, and worth a bundle selling to the Japanese. How do you know this? <laughs> I'm a journalist. You know, the magazine, Weekly Shinjutsu? I write for him. Yeah. No, can't say I do. So, you're a journalist. The name's Kasuga. I'm Kiryu. Kiryu-kun, huh? There. It's in the memory bank now. See? I'm investigating the dark side of Kamurocho. That's not all of Kamurocho? <laughs> this town's seem, uh, teeming with shady characters. I want to get the inside scoop and blow the covers clear off. You ready to get yourself killed? The dark side of Kamurocho, huh? Mm. I'm not sure that's a good idea. One false step and you could find yourself in way over your head. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem. I've been through a worse. I know when to hold them and when to fold them. There's that deal going on we heard about. Barkeep, whiskey and water. Hey. Right away, sir! Boss man, I'm stepping out for a minute. Certainly. See? They go out together, and he sells his guns. I see. For my story, I need a sense of gritty realism. I need to get close to the action. Even if that means taking risks. So here's my plan. I'm gonna try buying a gun from him. Nani. What? Anyone can just walk up and buy a gun? Uh. Yeah, if you sit next to him and order a whiskey and water. Supposedly that's the signal. Oh, yeah. The guy earlier ordered a whiskey and a water, too. I was skeptical at first, but now I'm convinced. I'm gonna take a shot at it. Not today, but soon. Oi. No good can come from a civilian striking a match under criminal affairs. Play with fire, and you'll get burned. <laughs> You're worried for me. Appreciate it. Maybe next time I can interview you, Kiryu-kun. If I'm in the mood. Hey, don't be that way. Tell you what, though. Let's drown our sorrows here again sometime. Except next time we drink on our tab. On your tab, Kiryu-kun. In return, I'll tell you some stories you wouldn't believe. Am I going back out now? I am. That quest is not complete, but I don't think it's going to be complete for. Ah, oh, everything's under attack again. I get. I have to. I have to resolve this fairly often until I get some good security, I guess. All right. So I guess the idea is that that's going to come up later then, because it's kind of vanished for now. But he. So I think that the the offer of stories for later was more of a legit actual follow up of the of the uh, quest than it may have been uh, originally clear.